Here we're going to show you how to assemble our dead man handles onto one of our ball valves. They can also go onto butterfly valves as well. Now it's called a dead man handle. Basically all the handle does, it will spring back into a position, whether that's a close or an open position, depending on how you set it up. Much like a spring return pneumatic actuator would. So to install it on our ball valve here, first we need to take this, take this top nut off here. But before we do that, we are going to put the ball valve to its resting position. Now, its resting position will be when the spring is under no tension. So we want this one to be closed. We're going to close the ball valve first. You see through that cavity there that the ball valve will be closed. Take this top nut off. Remove the handle. Now you'll notice also here there is a washer. This washer is just to hold the handle up so it's not in contact with the pad. Underneath our dead man handle here we have a built in recess so we'll remove that washer. What that will let us do is get enough thread on the top to replace this top nut once we've got the handle on. If you don't have enough room that's okay, the handle will still work, just be careful of pressing down this way on it, it might pop off. Get the handle. You'll see the square drive here. We put it over the top of the shaft and we move this handle around now until this far side hole here I'll just point to it with screw driver, matches up with the pad. Then we'll put our socket head screw in. Our spring washer and a 10 mil nut. I'll just loosely put this in. Oh, sorry, I should have showed you also. We've got to remove the stop pin. Stop pin's now out. While we're out here, it's important to tighten this socket head screw and bolt right up. What that will do is make sure when you pull this back, those two will line up. So if I tighten that up, a 10 mil spanner on the bottom. Now I bring this handle back towards me until the second hole lines up right here if I point to it, the screwdriver. That's where I'll put my second socket head bolt through. Spring washer, nut. Now we'll tighten this one up again. Now, the last thing we're going to try and do, sometimes this is not possible depending on the shaft height, is we're going to put this retaining nut back on the top. We might get just a couple of turns on that one. Just nipped it up. It's only just going to hold in place there. I'm just finger tights, okay, for this one. I do have a... Uh, there we go. We don't want to squash it too much, it might start pushing down on these bevel washers underneath. Now, you can see the valves in its closed position. What we're going to do is just test this handle first. If I pull it back just a little bit, this will be when the valve's at its lowest torque point and let it go. It does close, but what I'm going to do is tighten, well, tighten this bolt, which is going to give more spring pressure in here. So I'll undo the handle. If you take this handle off, you'll see the spring retaining thread, and on the end I have a nut. If I tighten this nut up, it will give us more force in our spring. So I'll tighten that right up. All it's doing is compressing that spring. It's shortening the distance that spring has to operate in. 
Be okay there. Put that handle back on. All right, now we're ready to operate this handle. And tighten it up in the vise. Pull it open. Pull the valve's open. Now, it's a dead man. I let go of it. The valve will go into its closed position. That's what it's called a dead man. The dead man opens it. He dies. He drops the handle. It closes. So it's got a fail safe position. Could be either all open or closed. We've set it up in the close. If I do it just a little bit, so it cracks just a little bit here. You should see the ball valve start to open. Let go of it. It's going to close. This is this is the point that has its least torque of the spring. The spring not only relies on this has a breakaway torque, but it relies on inertia going from in the fully open close. So when you open it just a little bit here, that's its weakest position. And if the ball valve's closing when it's just cracked and we let go, you've got the right handle for the job. We have a couple of different designs. This is another design of ours here. Exactly the same principle. It's got a slightly longer throw on the handle. We'll do the same job. <laughs>